Though the Western beauty standards may be taking the world by storm, there are still African countries and cultures that embrace the beauty standards so much and they're not even about to lose it to anything. Hello family. So in today's video, I'm going to give you four mind-blowing beauty standards that you had never thought they exist. And just before I do that, you're going to do me just one favor. Kindly please hit that red subscription button and give this video a like. And let me know what you think of it in the comment section, please. Now, let's begin with the newer people of South Sudan. Body marking is one big practice in this culture. As for the men, it's a sign of adulthood and it is done to initiate a young boy into adulthood. Parallel horizontal lines are drawn on the foreheads of the young boys. The numbers of these lines depends on how many he wants. And as for the ladies, it is purely done for beauty. Let me know what you think about this body marking practice right here in the comment section. During this process, the young boys are not expected to cry. As to them, if you don't cry, it signifies your strength. Next are the Himba people from northern Namibia. The Himba people are popularly known for their mind-blowing beauty standard, which is a unique hairstyle for the ladies and the paste they smear on their bodies, clothes and jewels. The 
This unique paste which the ladies smear every morning is made of butter fat and red ocha. And the red color symbolizes blood, which is the essence of life. Only old ladies in menopause collect the ocha from the holy mountain found in Namibia. And as for the hairstyles, it is done by close relatives and normally takes about three to four days to finish it. But after doing it, it lasts for about three months. This hairstyle is also seen as a symbol of fertility in the women and to show the ability to produce upright children. Next are the Sumer people of Ethiopia. In this culture, as young girls are turning into women, she and her family will make a hole on her lips and they keep stretching it over the time until it makes a large hole of about 8 to 20 centimeters in diameter. She will then put a plate onto the lips and she will soon start decorating it and this signifies beauty. Lip plating is a very common practice in the Suma people of Ethiopia and this is also part of the traditional wedding rituals. Please let me know in the comment section what you think about this practice. Would you ever try it? And last is the ear stretching practice which is commonly found in the Maasai people of Kenya. Small holes are made in the earlobes of the young children and the stretching starts right after that so that it gets longer over time. This is done using different sizes of horns, rocks and sticks. And since the stretching is a continuous process, it happens that the older the person, the longer the earlobes. And ladies with long earlobes are taken as very beautiful ladies in the culture. The ladies then decorate their earlobes with jewels made out of beautiful beads and other nice materials. And this gives them a unique look which only identifies them. And now that you have seen all the four beauty standards from these different tribes, go ahead in the comment section and let me know which one would you rather try if given a chance. Also, ensure that you have subscribed and please turn on your notification bell because you surely don't want to miss any of the next upcoming videos. Thank you very much for watching. This is Eunice.